Hi, I'm over the All Seeing Camera. We are back to the channel with another one. Today we're here to unbox Supreme Week 13. I'm late, but I'm not that late. We're a lot later with other shit that we haven't got to in this channel. Just skip the line. I've received this, I want to say Tuesday. So we've had it in our, in our house for like three days. We got to get to it. We got to get to it. I want to see what's inside. I remember what I ordered. I'm like, damn, they fit all that in here? I'm a little curious to see how they packed it. Before we get straight into it, just so you guys once again remember, week 13 dropped 519. Last week I got caught up. I got caught up. We did not do a Supreme Sneak Peek. Last week was the Nike week too. So if you guys copped anything from the Nike week, please comment down below and let me know. They also dropped a Supreme Knife, which was dope. It was like $300 retail, so I didn't grab it, but you guys let me know. Did you grab it? Did you not? I heard the brand's amazing. I'm not really a knife guy like that, so I can't tell you I know all the brands. But let me know if you hit anything on that Nike week. We did not. This is from the week prior. Nike was week 14, so week 13 week prior can y'all already tell what that is in it can y'all tell what that is can y'all tell what that is no not you no, not you. That's for them to tell what it is, not you. So, for stickers, we did not get any special ones. Just two regular Supreme Red Box logo stickers. Yo, we have so many of these, I got to put them up on StockX. I saw StockX, you could sell stickers by the pack of 25s or the pack of 50s. I got so many, we're going to have to do it. For the first item, you know, I told you guys for a minute we were about to get this. We had to add it to my collection, Supreme Macaroni and Cheese Craft. I was waiting for a week like this one that we spent enough that I wouldn't have to pay for shipping. We did not pay for shipping for this item because this week we spent more than $200. So we saved the money on shipping. I should have bought more than one pack. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought about it after I clicked purchase, but then I was like, because now you would have to pay shipping. But I just love this box so much. As you guys can see, the Kraft Orange Dinosaur with the Supreme White, with the Supreme White and Red Box logo T, spelling out Supreme in the macaroni and cheese. As you guys remember, we had the SpongeBob ones, X-Men ones, a whole bunch of other creative characters when we were kids. I remember those mac and cheeses. Bro, when I was a kid and I was in the store, I used to be begging my mother, Mom, I want the Spider-Man mac and cheese. I want the X-Men mac and cheese. Knowing damn well I didn't even like it too much. But why? Marketing. The marketing on the packaging got me. Why I got into marketing later on in my life? Because marketing controlled a lot of my life. Supreme limited edition shapes. Nah, that's super fire. You know we had to add this part of our collection. We're gonna get another one this week. To, uh, we're gonna get another one this week that we're actually gonna cook. I slacked. I was supposed to get like I'm gonna get like three more. But this one's gonna go with my Wheaties box and all my other Supreme accessories. Expires November 22, November 19, 2022 at 10 a.m. So, uh, if we gonna make them, we gotta make them before then. <laughs> Yo, this box is dope, though. This box is dope. What do you guys think about the Supreme Mac and Cheese? Did any of you guys order it? Have you guys ate it? Anybody ordered it? The Supreme Craft Macaroni and Cheese, one box is $5 a box. I don't know, do you guys think it's worth it or not? Definitely, I thought it was worth it. I needed a part of my collection. I love mac and cheese, and I love Kraft. I love the dinosaur, and the dinosaur had the white and red box logo. You know, you know, you know we had to order that. Item number two, two, two. Yeah, this is tough. Yes, yes. Supreme side logo five panel. If you guys recall, the week we did Supreme Week 13 sneak peeks, I saw this hat, and I was like... I think I need it. I think I need it. Remember I told you guys? I was like, I think I need it. And I was dead serious when I said I think I need it. It's perfect for biking. It's perfect for my outdoor life. I'll probably even wear it tomorrow, today even. This shit is tough. Boy, you scared the hell out of me. This hat also released in multiple other colors, which we will be going over. Okay, so a question I had, I don't know if you guys had the same thing, but when I was reviewing it, a question I had was, can you see through the brim? I was thinking about that. I'm like, yo, because I see the mesh on the brim, so I thought you could see right through it. But no, it's just a mesh upper layer. You cannot see through it. As you can see in the bottom, the brim is solid, which I'm so, 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 so happy it's like that. And that's what I was hoping for. So you guys can see, once again, you cannot see through the brim. Right under, the brim is solid, which is dope. But you could see through the back like a trucker hat. It's mesh going around the back of the hat. Supreme on both sides of the hat, big as hell too, super dope. We have the black and white one here. Once again, like I told you, a couple other, other colors came out. Silver eyelids on the side of the hat on both sides. And on the back of the hat, the adjustable tab to fit your sizing is Velcro, as you can see. So you can actually make it fit perfect to whatever fits your head. I got braids right now, so my head's gonna be a little bit big. Guys, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. What do you think? Are you a fan of a fan or are you not a fan? I actually fuss with it. I think it's super, super dope. I like the Supreme big ass call out on the side. And it gives me like a biker hat look. Like I got it for my outdoor adventures due to the mesh and being able for me to get some air through my hair. 
butt. And I'm, I'm a freak this. This shit is fire. Like, I'm a definitely freak this and wear this outside. This is fire. This is not going to be reflipped. I'm going to keep it. This is going to be a festival special. You know what? I love to tell you guys that. Festival specials. This is for sure going to be a festival special. I might not even bring that many hats. I might not even bring that many hats. This might be my festival special right here. This shit is smooth. I can feel the air through my head and I'm inside my crib. Fire, fire, fire. Let's see what retail was for the hat. This hat did sell out. All colors for the hat sold out as well. I know I made a good decision when I liked it because it's one of the hats that sold out instantly that day. I was like, okay, okay. Thank God I pulled the trick. Thank God I pulled the trigger so quickly. That hat released in black, as you can see right now. It also released in teal, olive, and white. You guys will see the images. I'll add it on either side. The olive was dope as well because there was something that I did like about the green and red. But that white and tan one was super fire and that teal was super dope too with the black brim i think they were all tough i'm not gonna hold you whichever one you pulled the trigger on super fire i like them all i just think the easiest one for me to put fits together was obviously this one and it's just something about a white hat that gets me super nervous but i liked how the top was white not really was gonna touch your hair or get dirty like right around the brim they did those in different colors so i really dig this one price for the hat was 48 dollars what do you guys think about it? Are you a fan, not a fan? I like the hat a lot. I'm going to do a zoom up at the end where I'll show you guys the details better. But that's the side of the hat. That's the side of the hat again. And that's the front right there. I think it's super dope and it's going to really be fire for this summertime. Summertime. Guys, before we go over the last item, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below what you copped week 13. What did you cop week 13? Did you hit on anything? Or is this something that you wanted but you just didn't have luck and end up selling out like the Burberry hats that week? We also want of those we didn't have any chance hitting them super low quantities we had no chance hitting them but what did you want what did you hit or what did you not hit comment down below make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel we know we're on the road to 4,000 subs so sub up sub up sub up sub up and last but not least supreme zip off kinch pants bro i think these shits is fire you guys saw we unboxed another pair of these pants on the channel from last year's drop you know we had to go double up and get another pair Black once again, because you just can't have too many black cargo pants. You just can't have way too many black cargo pants. I love black cargos. Got three pairs of black cargos. And that's still not enough. And one thing you guys should always know about this channel is we try this stuff on. So if you guys are interested to see how these pants look, you know we're going to try it on right after this. So stay tuned. Check out the try on. And at the end of the try on, something else that I do is that I go over and zoom up all the tags, show you guys all the tags and the inside, what the stuff should look like. Why? Because mostly everything on my channel I hit from Supreme. Mostly everything on my channel we hit from Supreme. So I want you guys to avoid getting burnt. When I don't buy something off Supreme and I buy it off Go or StockX or any other site, I always let you guys know. This all supreme once again so if you cop anything even at an after or aftermarket or something it should be matching exactly my stuff and you know we usually do large in pants in this channel we switched it up i looked at the sizing grid and the sizing grid for these pants said waist on these were 32 before they expand i'm a 33 waist large is a 34 waist they're the same length they're the same length both pants is said so i was like you know what let's try the medium because i think a 32 waist would fit me better than a 34 waist i always have to pull them super tight so they don't fall they don't fit me and i'm even getting more in shape and more in shape and more in shape as the days go on so i wanted to get a medium to fit me a little bit better but here we have the supreme cargo zip off kinch pants they released in week 13 they all and they also released in other colors which we will be going over as you guys can see here these shits is tough i love the pockets on this one that's what got me was the pockets on this one i love the stitching i love how the pockets pop out in that little circle look we'll open it up and we'll try them on for sure but that's what got me the way that the pockets looked on this one on the left side of the pants you can see right on the pocket there is a supreme call out black box logo it's like rubber it has like a rubber material feel to it black supreme box logo where there's a black supreme pants so you can see that right there another call out on these pants i just saw right now is the back left pocket had a supreme call out on the zipper on the pocket a white a black and white supreme call out that's super dope as well uh -oh. But guys, the real part that got me was these pockets. What do you think about these pockets? I think these are dope, and they look even better in real life. It's just something about these pockets. I just love the way that they look. Let's see. These pockets got me. Let's see what they're hitting for inside. Yeah, nice smooth. You can fit a nice good hand in here. Another one of you guys know what I'm going to say. Festival specials. You can fit so much stuff in these pockets. And on the side, I really wouldn't dig too much fucking with my sides. Because festivals, you got to remember, a lot of dudes be trying to pit pocket. I wouldn't even dig with these pockets either. The pockets I would probably play with the most to put my wallet or anything, which I don't tell anybody to ever put their back pocket. 
but the back pockets on these are zippered, so that's something good to note. The back pocket on these are zippered. Are both pockets zippered or only one ass cheek? Only your right butt cheek comes with a zippered pocket. So you have one pocket in your back, but it does have a zipper. That's super great to know. I would put all my important stuff in there as these pockets do not have zippers on the side. And if you sit at a wrong angle or something, stuff could fall out and you would never want that to happen. Your deep pockets on the side are also really good because you have a Velcro. You have Velcro right over your pockets, so gives it, you know, it keeps everything safe in there. And these pockets are super dope. I love how circle they are, and they're, the way that they're stitched, they can expand a little bit more. So, you know, you can make them puff up if you have a whole bunch of stuff in your pockets. I like it. I like it a lot. The cool thing about these pants is that the legs zip off. So let's say one day you're chilling, you're rocking your pants, you're like, yo, I'm mad hot. I was tweaking today. I should have wore the shorts. Oh, you should have wore the shorts. You're going to look over at your mans, and your mans will be like, no, you should have bought Supreme, brokey. Because he's going to hit you with one of these right here. Look. He gonna hit you with the party boy. Remember party boy from Jackass how he used to rip his suit off? This nigga's gonna rip his knees off like a college stock. Boom. This boy just went from cargo pants to cargo shorts that quick. Super duper. And what I love about these is that the flap right over it covers the zipper. So when you're wearing the leg on it, as you can see here, you can't tell that there's a zipper under that. You can't tell the way that the, you see? It's like an uncircumcised zipper if you would like to think about it like that. But it has a little flap covering the zipper right on the top. So you can't see that there's a zipper under that knee. And that's what I love. I've worn, again, we've unboxed other zip off pants in this channel. And I love wearing them. I love the look to them. The other ones that I got were mesh pockets on the side. I love that feature. Let's go over the other colors and the price for this before we go try them on. Retail price, I think I still remember off the head. Retail price was $148. They also released in three other colors. Dusty pink, gray, and black. I think the gray and the dusty pink was super fire as well. So it's not even an easy like, oh my God, these are for sure the best ones. Definitely not. They're all super dope. Quick little product description, all cotton with seam hand pockets on single bag zip pocket. Velcro flap cargo pockets at thighs. Elastic waistband with zip fly, snap closure, and interior elastic shock cord. Zip off lower legs with interior elastic shock cord at cuffs high density. I think they're super dope. What do you guys think? We're about to go try them on. If you guys have any question, make sure you comment down below in this video. Let me know. Or if you don't want to ask in front of everybody else, I always put my social media on here. So feel free to DM me on Instagram. You have a higher chance of me actually replying to you there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well on the road of 4,000 subs. So sub up, sub up, sub up. Like the video. Also, did you cop anything from week 13 or week 14? 13 or 14, let me know because we're not going to do an unboxing 14. I was so busy last week, I didn't even have time to pay this attention to Supreme. They did collab with Nike last week. I didn't cop anything. Let me know if you guys did. Comment down below. Let me know. Let's go try these on. And I'm going to do the zoom up details at the end, which should hopefully answer all your questions. If it does not, oh, let me think. I'm 6'2". I'm 6'2 in height. A lot of times I get that question. 6'2 in height, and I weigh 165 pounds. I may look to you, and then I'm going to zoom up and show you guys the details of the hat, the tags, everything, even mac and cheese. This shit is really fire. Let's go try these on. Whoa, real quick before we try it on, I almost jumped off without telling you guys this. I love that the Supreme cargo pants in the bottom have that really big exposure because I love wearing Jordan 4s. I love wearing Yeezy Big Dad sneakers a lot too. So it's dope when you have all this extra space. But some of you guys may not like them being so loose. So a good thing to note is that the inside of the leg comes with the piece that you can actually, you know, pull it, tighten the pants and shit if you want it to crank up a little bit more, you know around the ankle and stuff, you see? Give it more of that look. I don't really like that look too much, so I'm gonna loosen my pair up again. But it's just dope for you guys to know you have the option that that is a look you like to have more. I'm not really a big fan of that, so let's uncrinkle these shit. All right, there we go. I got nervous. I'm like, yo, hold on. Why these shit is permanently crinkled now? But it's just dope that you have that option depending on what you like. Let's go try this on. 